all the women are pregnant and their babies are pregnant too, SNL rips into Republicans' anti-caravan hysteria amid birthright citizenship row and only makes one quick reference to troubled regular Alec Baldwin. Saturday Night Live opened with a parody of a Fox News segment that ridiculed Republicans' hysteria surrounding the migrant caravan en route to the U.S.-Mexico border. Playing the role of primetime host Laura Ingraham was Kate McKinnon, who delivered a string of scathing remarks designed to stoke anxieties about the more than 4,000 would-be immigrants. Fox News personality Judge Janine Perot, played by Cecily Strong, and Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark, played by Kenan Thompson, both appeared on the newscast to reiterate how dangerous the caravan is. All the women are nine months pregnant and their babies are pregnant too, Thompson's Clark says. The segment ends with a mention of disgraced former actor Alec Baldwin, a reference to the SNL star's Friday arrest. Ingraham says, and here's a photo of Alec Baldwin molesting a Boy Scout, as a photo of Baldwin in a previous SNL skit with Adam Sandler titled Canteen Boy flashes on the screen. The episode hosted by Jonah Hill aired one day after SNL mainstay Baldwin was arrested for allegedly assaulting a man during a parking dispute in New York City on Friday. The 17-time host and regular guest star is best known for his Emmy-winning pouty portrayals of President Donald Trump. McKinnon's Ingraham slammed critics of Donald Trump who have accused the president of being racist in his rhetoric about the caravan. Except for his words and his actions throughout his life, how is he a racist, she said before launching into a rant about how the term white nationalist had suddenly become negative. All of a sudden, the term nationalist is bad, the character lamented. The word white is bad. The phrase white nationalist is bad. Strong's Perot then joins Ingraham to comment on the caravan, introducing a clip that she claimed depicted the caravan earlier that day but was actually just news coverage of Black Friday shoppers ransacking a store. When asked who was in the caravan, fake Perot said, everyone you've ever seen in your nightmares, Guatemalans, Mexicans, ISIS, the Menendez brothers, the 1990 Detroit Pistons and several Babadooks. To illustrate her point, Perot said, just look at this footage of the caravan crossing into Mexico as the newscast cuts to a well-known scene from Brad Pitt's World War Z that shows zombies climbing over each other trying to get over a wall. Perot then says that she believes Pitt is dating the caravan, assigning them the couple named Bradovan. Ingraham then welcomes Thompson's Clark, who warns that the migrants are moving at a pace of 300 miles a day and could arrive at the U.S.-Mexico border just in time to vote in the midterms. Dot taking things a step further than Puro, he offers up aerial footage of the caravan that shows hundreds of crabs swarming a beach. It's also the first episode since SNL writer Pete Davidson and pop powerhouse Ariana Grande broke off their engagement in mid-October. On Saturday reports emerged that Davidson's sketch about the breakup had been axed because the comedian didn't want to go through with it, according to TMZ. In a promo for this week's show Davidson poked fun at the whirlwind romance by pretending to propose to musical guest Maggie Rogers. The No Tears Left to Cry hitmaker, 25, shot back with a scathing tweet that said, For somebody who claims to hate relevancy you sure love clinging to it, huh? When Davidson appeared on Weekend Update he made an early reference to the breakup, saying that he started paying attention to the midterms after I had to move back in with my mom. He then ended his segment on a more serious note, saying, I know some of you are curious about the breakup, but the truth is it's really nobody's business and sometimes things just don't work out. She's a wonderful, strong person and I genuinely wish her all the happiness in the world.